I have a theory that every time that I wear white, I get a message from some sort of app telling me there's a new thing that is out on the menus. Wendy's has a new saucy nuggets. There are four new flavors. I got five and you'll see why. Let's try them out. Let's get into the details first. You can get this in an order of four, six, 10, or 20 pieces, and you can either get it in regular or their spicy nuggets. It's just sauce put on a nugget, but we'll see what these sauces taste like. Drop a thumbs up, man. Let's get into this video. I do like the fact that they serve these. Dang. I've been having a hard time getting this plastic off every time because I feel like I'm going to rip it. Yeah, I already know what that one is. So this is the garlic parm. I got these six pieces for those who are wondering. You can really smell this garlic parm on here, but what it smells like is the ones when they had those garlic, the fries they had, which had like that garlic, garlic fries. It smells like the same exact sauce, which is what I think it is. It's under regular nuggets. There's not really much to it, but it's really just about does the sauce work? I don't think they gave me enough sauce. I just got a better one when I dipped it in there, but it's really not enough. That's kind of disappointing. Do I like it? It's okay. I just think that it's going to vary heavily on location, whether you get enough sauce. So I'm going to try to dip this in here so I can get a little bit more of it. I mean, it's there. It tastes just like that garlic uh, sauce they put on their fries. I like it, but I feel like it's not, I don't know. Y'all going to think I'm complaining. I don't really care. Listen, this is just regurgitated stuff in my opinion. And the flavor isn't bold enough or different enough to really make me say, oh my God, you've got to try these nuggets. Let's see, when you get two different sauces, they give you blue cheese, which I would think is for the buffalo. And they also give you buttermilk ranch. I'm going to try the buttermilk ranch. All right, here we go. A little bit of ranch, a little bit of ranch. Let's just see if that helps. Hell no, that don't help. Ranch don't go with this flavor at all. I just feel like I'm getting more of a garlic butter than a garlic parm, so they're okay. I don't really love them. I like Wendy's nuggets, but this isn't really moving the needle one way or the other. I would give these a six out of 10. If they're there, it's a nice change up, but it's not something I'm gonna go out of my way to get. This is Diet Grape Sprite Zero. A lot of people always saying I never get a drink, so I'm trying to actively remember and show you my sips in between takes. Paper straws are such an L. Dumb thing to complain about. All right, next one. These look like the buffalo. So we got buffalo nuggets. Did they have a buffalo sauce at, at, at Wendy's already? Or is this like something that they could have recycled? So there's your buffalo. Much more sauce on this one, which is a good thing because these nuggets are coated. I hope it's as good. Why does their buffalo sauce taste a little off? Am I getting like, I feel like they put hot sauce in their base for the garlic parm. It has that same consistency. It doesn't taste very buffalo. And when you look really close, see if I can get that, there you go. You can see those same, the sun just said, bro, we, I'm, I'm, we're gonna rock with it. You can see the same pieces of that parsley that's on the same sauce. So I'm really getting that butter just like that, just with a mix of hot sauce. And it doesn't make for an instant, they're almost too rich, that's weird. This is extremely disappointing. This one gets a three out of 10. Like I'd still eat them, but I don't think I could eat more than like two or three. I had to literally move location because the sun was just crazy in the way. So I had to flip the car around. Y'all don't really care. Let's get back to the review. So uh, I don't like there's a lot of sauce on here. You gotta shake them up for sure. There we go. So these are the buffalo nuggets right here. The last one I thought were buffalo, it turns out they were ghost pepper. Now looking at these, they look much more like buffalo. So take everything I just said about ghost pepper or buffalo and change it to ghost pepper because that's how I feel about them. It just seems lazy. And there we go. These are buffalo. At least it tastes like buffalo. Not the best buffalo sauce you'll ever have. Again, I know y'all think I think this about everything, but bad buffalo sauce to me, you can taste the salt in it. I know everybody thinks I think things are too salty. You might be right, but with bad buffalo sauce, you get sauce before you get, or salt before you get cayenne. It's like you cheap out on what makes buffalo buffalo, in my opinion. Kind of reminds me of buffalo wing. The problem is, when you're eating it on nuggets, it just gives you that like nugget vibe that doesn't give you, like even a boneless wing has white meat where these are like funny meat. But honestly, so far, these are my favorite ones, even though they don't push the envelope. 
I would get these a lot more often. These are probably the best ones so far, which I expected to be my least favorite ones. I'm gonna give you my guess though. I didn't get into this yet. I think the barbecue is gonna be my favorite one. I didn't get there yet. We got two different kinds of barbecue, but I just got a feeling about barbecue. It always works well at fast food chains. But these, I would give an eight out of 10 and would get these again 100%. Gotta shake these up too. All of these come with like a pretty decent amount of sauce. I don't know if it's like measured out by them. A lot of places they have like quality control on that. But when you shake it up, they are covered. So these, get over here, there you go, are the barbecue. These smell, I swear to you, I don't know why I had a good feeling. These smell like KFC's barbecue. KFC had the best barbecue wings in a fast food game ever made. Don't at me. I wish you brought them back. This is a Wendy's time. So there you go. Nice and coated. I have a, I keep saying the same thing. We got one. Um, these are the ones. This tastes like KFC barbecue sauce to me. Really, really sweet. Just has that same vibe. And when you put it on chicken, it just puts me in that mind. If KFC didn't want to do, I guess Wendy's would. If KFC had decent nuggets, these would hit. Let's go in. A little bit of the branch. A little bit of the ranch. They finally, finally woke me up. There we go. A little bit of the ranch. Those are fire, bro. 20 pieces of these with some fries. You in business. A little bit sweet. If you're a fan of KFC's barbecue wings, try those out. Because those going to hit. I'm gonna have to ask for extra barbecue sauce though, because you got pumped the volume on this with, with a 20 piece on this. Oh boy, for real. Nugget wise, fast food wise, those bang. I would give these a 9.2 out of 10. And I'm coming back just for these. Every time I go to Wendy's from now on, if those on the menu, we get those. Now we got the spicy barbecue, which is the same sauce. I wasn't sure what it was, but I have an idea of it now. They just took their spicy nugget. So I only ordered one of them because I just didn't really knew it was gonna be something like this. So instead of using their regular nuggets, they use their spicy nuggets and they put that barbecue sauce on there. But I had a feeling with these that it's gonna hit with the spicy and the sweet. Oh man. Okay, please, please just, just do this one time. It works better with the regular. It's good though. Wait. Nah, we got something with this too. We got something. Damn. He's gonna do you right. He's gonna do you right. I don't know what it is about barbecue at places like this, but it's gonna do you right. Y'all see the way I just looked at that? <laughs> Sometimes I'll be catching myself, bro. It's hot in this car, it's 90 degrees in the summertime, but we know it's gonna be all right after that. And I'll wipe my damn hands off. The sweet, the salty, the spicy. I would have really liked that they took their sweet and sour. I should have got it. Actually, it wouldn't have mattered. I would like to see a different kind of flavor. Like th th this is really the only two good flavors. The other ones are kind of mid to me, but spicy barbecue, sweet barbecue and buffalo are the ones that I say were the better ones or not the best. And I would give these an 8.8 .8 out of 10. I still like the regular one for some reason a little bit better, but if they could mix and match the sauces or something like that. For all the saucy nuggets, I kind of knew what I was getting into after the KFC one. To me, KFC saucy nuggets are equal to Wendy's saucy nuggets for different reasons. KFC to me has better sauces. Wendy's to me has better nuggets. Somehow they need to collab and fix this because Wendy's sauces are just a little more bland in my opinion where KFC had like Georgia gold, you know, like they had all kinds of bold different flavors that you really can work with, but their nuggets suck in my opinion. These, I like Wendy's nuggets, but the sauce is barbecue, buffalo, the garlic parm and the ghost pepper. These are all things they come out with, but it doesn't have the same oomph with the sauces. If you wanted to make a perfect one, you'd combine the two. Either way, I do think it's nice as a change-up thing when it comes to this place, but it's a lot, bro. Do y'all do that? I'd be doing that, so I ain't gonna say nothing. Are y'all the type of people, I know I'm getting off track, it don't matter, it's my video. Do y'all the type of people that when you, like, change your car alarm, you be hitting it multiple times? I do. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. He hit that shit like four, three times, I think he hit it. I always do that. You only need to click the thing once, but it's like you got to double check. I still don't be thinking I locked it. Or when I lock my door, I'll go back and check if it's locked like multiple times. I'll be doing that. Reviewing outside has been weird because there's so many variables that I'm just be doing stuff off the cuff because I just be seeing all kinds of stuff. But I don't really mind. Anyway, back to the Wendy's thing. This is something to me that I would prefer just to get if I just happen to be at Wendy's. Sometimes fast food places drop items where it's like, stop what you're doing and go get it. This to me is more like I'm in the mood for Wendy's. Let me grab one of these nuggets with my meal because it's just a nice switch up. Like a barbecue nugget with maybe like a, like a, you know, a Dave's classic or whatever burger with some fries would be a dope meal. And it's a nice change up. But most of these sauces 
like their barbecue, they have barbecue sauce. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't really hit like KFCs where you feel special. That nobody's really perfected it yet, but I do like the idea. But to me recently, I just, I've said this before, I feel like a lot of fast food special type of things, they're doing it just because they know people like me are gonna go review it. And people like us are gonna go and try it. Like it's, it's, it's kind of lazy in my opinion. Like they don't do anything where it's like, this is brilliant. It's just like, what can we do to get these people to come back here with some stuff that tossed us minimal production? We already have these sauces, we already have these nuggets. So let's just put it out there and do it that way. Like you could have made this before. And, and I feel like a lot of companies are going towards that. Like this isn't a rant or anything. It's not even me complaining. It's just my analysis. I've reviewed almost every new thing that's come out in the last couple of years. And most of it is just lazy in my opinion. Like I feel like there's a bunch of dudes or, or a bunch of people, I should say, I apologize, in a boardroom. Like what can we do to get these people to come here? Is that gonna cost us a lot to do? No, let's do it. And that's what it's become. Do I like these? Yeah, I don't have a problem with it. Best one being the barbecue. I could have just gotten nuggets of barbecue sauce. It's the same damn thing. That's just my opinion. They just repackaged it. You know what I'm saying? So either way, I would get it as long as the price is there. I do think like a 20 piece, you know, for $12. I remember 20 pieces were $5. That's probably just me being old. But either way, they're okay. I don't have a problem with it, but I just wanted to give my take on it since they were brand new. I got a text message this morning that said, hey, big back, go on and go to Wendy's. I said, all right, I'm going to go to Wendy's parking lot is kind of crazy i just seen some like kid had to be like 20 years old pull up in the parking lot he and he was happy as hell he just got a new benz uh, and then his friends got out the car another car they had like a little beat up acura and then they got out the car and it was all jumping and hugging and stuff like that is it weird that that makes me happy i like seeing people win I, he had to be early 20s young dude uh i don't know how he got the car as far as like i don't know what he does for a living i'm not saying that negative i'm just i don't i don't know what he does for a living um but either way, he worked to get that car that's super dope. And I just, I like to see people succeeding. I, I know in this day and age, that's like, people like to, to be happy when people fail or they'll see that and be like, oh, he probably did something or he must know somebody. Like, I don't really care. Like that genuine just happiness of him. I, he had that look. Cause I remember when I got my first car, I ain't had no Benz. I had a Chevy Malibu and it had like, it ain't even had power windows. You know what I'm saying? But it was mine, and I was like, oh, I can't wait for them to see me in this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know that feeling, you know, and I, I just hope everybody gets to win in one way or another. Winning is subjective. It's whatever you think is winning, but I don't like getting all these preachy kind of things. But I, I just have to say this again because I'm, I'm unk status at this point. Other people's success shouldn't make you mad. And if anything, it should be inspire you. Like, you inspire you to say, okay, I want that for myself. But I just hope that it's never gonna happen more than likely. I just wish that we could get to a point where people stop trying to tear other people down to build themselves up and instead just build yourself up. You know, like a lot of people, when they see anybody winning at anything, oh, well, they start with this whole, or they'll, they'll try to pick out something like, and it'd be stuff that's not even completely relevant. You know what I'm saying? I've seen somebody be happy on like Instagram and post something and people be like, oh yeah, but you ugly. What the fuck I gotta do with him and winning? You know what I'm saying? And it's just, it's just, we don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't have to, be mad at people for winning you know like or like put them down publicly because it, it i feel like you're doing that for the wrong reasons to like make yourself feel better and i completely understand because it's always the rebuttal that well it's, i'm allowed to say what i want to absolutely nobody said you were going to get arrested for it nobody said to, to me it says something about somebody that somebody that you don't know you feel the need to tear them down just because you can like that's that's not a valid reason to me and personally I've said this before, I see stuff on the internet and in real life every day that I don't like, where I'm like, oh, like that's kind of corny. I'm a human, of course I do, but I've never felt the need to tell it to a random person in public or on social media. I just keep it moving because it ain't gonna do nothing. And the other thing that when I see somebody winning, it makes me go, man, I, if anything, I'm like, man, I, I wanna do that, I wanna do something. You know, it, it inspires me more than it pisses me off. I don't care what you did to get it, like it still makes me go okay well how can i do something like that for myself not oh that person must do this or must do that or must do this you know what i'm saying i just think we need to get back to that and i think that you'll you'll be a lot more productive person if you spend more time worrying about what you can do to build yourself up instead of like tearing other people down i hate getting preachy bro but i just i'll be seeing too much of that like recently there ain't no reason to hate on people especially people you don't know that ain't done nothing to you like they just existing and you're mad you might want to reevaluate where your headspace is coming from, but you got to be honest with yourself about that. I can't be that. But either way, I had to get here purposely. It's like 90 degrees out today. It's super hot in this car right now because I can't turn the air on. I tried to do a video earlier when I turned the air on. It was, you could hear it in the background. So I just got to open the windows and sweat.
sweating right now, bro. It's hot this car, bro. That's why I keep doing this, because my hat be getting sweaty. But then, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, man, I love y'all. We'll be back tomorrow. More content. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.